Hey, what's up, guys? This is Joel Benavides with the Block Squawk Podcast. This is episode six on the 7th of June, 2019, and uh, we're going to get started right away. Uh, let's uh, start out by uh, talking about what the market's been doing over the last few hours and couple of days uh it's basically been flat it has been ranging within a small range uh but for the most part uh it's not really uh it's not really doing anything but there are some indicators that uh it may do something very soon so we're going to take a look at that uh first uh we can see right here that we have uh, 0.360 io up and you can see most of the market is green uh, but only by a couple of percentage points here and there. Uh, there has been some growth, but I think because we're at the top of that range. Uh, XRP, of course, up uh, by like seven points. Litecoin is up 12 points. I think this is something Peter Brandt may have tweeted. Um, but, uh, you know, and Maker, BAT, um, all those are kind of up big. Bitcoin, according to 360, is at uh, three, three percentage points up. Uh, at 7947 so um, let's jump into the rest of it um, I was having issues earlier with uh, coin360.io it just kind of blinked out on me uh, so so that's um, that's why I had the the total up I was gonna use total as opposed to as opposed to the uh, the the defunct or broken coin 360 website but uh it's working now so um here's bitcoin just a real quick uh look at bitcoin on trading view uh we're at 79.43 right now uh but we're at the top of this uh this trading range we broke out above it shortly um earlier and uh but we're still within this trading range between 75.66 and 34 and then uh 79.72 on the uh on the upper end of that that range and there's been a lot of uh trading going on within that range over the last few days couple of weeks so uh, but we'll take a take a further look at it here in a moment um i wanted to move on to the squawk uh let me pull up the squawk here and as i read out the squawk um we'll be looking at some of those charts along the way um, so gas, uh, of course, being a derivative of NEO, which is on the top, on the top 20 usually, um, it's sitting at well below a cent. It's 0.000375 uh, cents, and uh, it's been essentially flat, uh, up 0.81 percent on the day. Um, and so I usually try to include gas just because it's a derivative of, of NEO. Um, and NEO is in the 19th slot according to market cap. It's trading at 12 and 25. Uh, yeah, we're we're looking at it right now against uh, against Tether on the Binance, and uh, and that's NEO itself is up five and a half percent on the day. Uh, below that, briefly, is NEM, uh, and it's trading at uh, 8.5 cents, uh, and it's up 4.1 percent on the day. Um, so those that that does it for the 20th and 19th slot. Well, we're gonna go in order here on, from here on out. Uh, Tezos uh, is coming in in the 18th slot by market cap, trading at 132, 1 and 32, I should say, and that's up 10.78 percent on the day. Ethereum Classic, which we're looking at here, ETC is up uh, or a correction down 0.39 percent on the day, and it's trading at 7 and 91. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Dash, but we're not going to get to Dash just yet. Cosmos, by the symbol Atom, is in, in the 16th slot, trading at 6 and 28, and that's up 5.05% on the day. IOTA, in, in the 15th slot by market cap, trading at 43.6 cents, up 2.21% on the day. And uh, here we can see Dash on the daily. Uh, we looked at it briefly yesterday as well. Uh, it looks like uh, it's consolidating after a big drop a few days ago, uh, but it's trading at 146 and 96. That's up 0.72 percent on the day, uh, as, as we can see here in this uh, bullish candle. Uh, let's take a look at Monero XMR against uh, Tether on the Binance. Uh, it, according to Coin Market Cap, it's trading at 87.84. 
according to Binance 8758 uh, on TradingView. And uh, that's up 2.19% uh, according to CoinMarketCap, up 1.03% according to the Binance as reported by TradingView. Guys, just so um, we're clear, I'm reading out the coin market data, which I believe is an aggregate of uh, a lot of the exchanges. So we'll, if you're if you're following along on YouTube or on Twitch, uh, and you see a different figure in terms of um, uh, the traded figure or uh, percentage growth on the day, uh, that's just because uh, on the screen we're looking at a specific a specific exchange which in this case is Binance uh, so so I will be reading out the coin market cap data uh, just in case you're watching and you're wondering why there's a, a, a variance between the two figures <clears throat> so uh, moving on to Cardano ADA it's trading at 8.5 cents that's up 4.39 percent on the day again uh, we can see a bullish candle here uh, Tron TRX coming in at 11th by market cap trading at 3.3 cents and that's up uh, just uh, a tenth of a percentage point on the day. Um, so we're going to move into the top 10 now here guys. Uh, we're going to start out uh, by looking at Stellar XLM that's coming in of course at 10th by market cap trading at 12.5 cents on the day. Uh, and I'm sorry, uh, 12.5 cents in trading uh, that's up 3.18% on the day. Uh, Tether USDT trading at 101, down 0.01%. BSV Bitcoin SV in an eighth by market cap. I'm sorry, I'm not uh, following along here. There we go. Uh, Bitcoin SV trading at 197 and 25. That's down 0.97% on the day. Uh, Binance uh, against Tether on the Binance is uh, trading at 31 and 76, up 0.41% on the day. EOS by the I was looking up. I was looking up because I'm like, man, what is EOS? Like, I know people pronounce it EOS and not EOS, but what is it? You know, what is it? Why, like, why, why call it EOS or whatever? Uh, there's some rumors out there. I, I don't think it's ever been said, but um, uh, some people say that it stands for Ethereum on steroids. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how true that is. I just heard it earlier. Um, anyway, EOS is trading at 6 and 43 this morning. And uh, that's up 1.32% on the day. Let's take a look at Litecoin against Tether on the Binance. And uh, Litecoin is trading at 113 and 78, up 9.4% on the day. Uh, Bitcoin Cash, BCH against uh, the dollar on Coinbase is up 1.28% uh, at 396.67. XRP against Tether on the Binance again is trading at 41.9 cents, up 4.57% on the day. Uh, Ethereum against Tether again on the Binance is at uh, 249 and 11. That's up 1.12% on the day. And lastly, of course, Bitcoin against a dollar on the Coinbase is up 1.7% at 7,957 and uh, two cents. That's well. On Coinbase, I should say it's 7,942 and 52, and that's up 1.76%. Uh, we're looking at uh, figures from uh, Coin Market Cap, as I mentioned before. Uh, so that's going to do it for the squawk. Uh, and uh, let's take a quick look at some trending stories. We mentioned some of this yesterday. But uh, I will pull up the chart. I will pull up the chart as uh, as we uh, go through some of these stories. So uh, let's take let's start out looking at uh, Ripple. Um, I was kind of playing around with the chart here yesterday. It looked like um, like the uh, trading range stayed within this kind of like triangle or wedge that that we're forming right here. Um, so and the size of the wicks to me point to uncertainty. Uh, so. I mean, this could go either way, guys. Uh, I was already kind of looking at some of the some of the analysts and traders on TradingView, and everybody kind of feels like the uncertainty. The uncertainty is 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 palpable. Um, so, and then uh, I think same goes for Litecoin. Let's pull up Litecoin. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, there is some kind of like um, like 
resistance that's kind of playing into this kind of triangle theory uh, that everybody's floating around. Uh, and right now at 115 and 36, uh, Litecoin uh, could go uh, either way. But Peter Brandt seems to think that uh, Litecoin and XRP um, is a good long-term investment anyway. Um, that's what UDOT Today is reporting about three hours ago. Four hours ago from UDOT Today also, Ripple's XRP to be adopted by largest Asian bank. See here again, guys, here again, we have a lot of fundamental news that's coming out, a lot of institutional adoption, uh, not just on Ripple, but across the space, especially across the CMC20, the CoinMarketCap20. Um, so uh, it's just uh, really important to um, keep that in mind when we're doing our technical analysis and we're seeing all these different, um, uh, all these different, um, sorry, I'm having a brain fart right now. Um, so, but, but I, I wanted to, I wanted to mention that just to kind of point out, like if you look at the volume over the last few days, we can see here that even though we've been on kind of a downward slope in terms of volume over the last month or so, um, all in all, uh, the, the, the long-term trend seems to point upward, not just in price, but, but also in, in, in volume. Um, we had really high both sell and buy volume uh, around uh, mid-May. Uh, and then it's kind of been on a downward slope since then, but we're still in terms of volume higher uh, than we were at the beginning of May. Um, so just something to keep an eye on. Uh, it looks like uh, maybe MACD and uh, Stochastics are approaching over sold territory on the daily. So that tells me that we may be turning up soon. Uh, it looks like there's gonna be some signal crossovers and stuff like that so um just uh, important to keep that in the back of your mind guys uh bitcoin mining uh migrating from china to the united states that's according to cryptoslate.com 20 hours ago go take a look if you want uh, 21 hours ago ethereum labeled usable currency by sec will the price grow as a result uh a day ago uh, from the cryptocurrency reddit iota on its way to becoming standard in global iot technical meeting amsterdam uh, i believe i tried pulling up uh, iota on trading view once and some of the some of the um uh, charts I, I think i had an issue with the charts that were available so those are just a couple of things our remaining trending stories have to do with uh red uh, xrp ripple and so uh, there's been a lot of a lot of chatter about ripple again i'll pull that up uh right here and so we can see here um, that this triangle is forming. So we're just going to have to keep an eye on that, guys. Um, as far as headlines on uh, TradingView go, again, it's kind of like Ethereum, Bitcoin, and XRP uh, is, is all over the place. So that's going to do it for us for the uh, news section. I was looking at Twitter today, and there's really not a whole lot going on. Um, so uh, I think we're going to have to cut the stream short there that covers news and and uh, coin market cap. So I'm going to get out of here, guys. Uh, you guys have a good week. Good luck trading. And uh, and we'll catch you on the flip. Um, please, uh, please remember that nothing you heard on the squawk today is trading advice, financial advice, tax advice, etc. So, uh, yeah, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers. Thanks for listening to another episode of Block Squawk. Remember that nothing on Block Squawk is to be interpreted as financial advice, investment advice, trading advice, or tax advice, and seek out a financial advisor before risking capital. Block Squawk is listener supported, so if you go to anchor.fm forward slash Block Squawk and tap the support this podcast button, you'd be helping immensely in the maintenance, support, improvement, and longevity of the podcast and stream. If you don't want to contribute financially, you can always like, subscribe, tap the post notification bell, as well as comment and repost, and this also helps greatly. 
Again, thanks for hanging out with us a bit. I hope you reach out over Twitter. I'm at Joel Benavides. Apart from that, you can usually find me on Spotify, Anchor, Apple, and Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Radio Public, Facebook pages, Instagram, LinkedIn, TradingView, StockTwits, and more by searching Blog Squawk or Joel Benavides. Good luck out there. I'll see you guys on the moon. Cheers. All right, guys, that's going to do it. We'll see you later.